afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Atlanta Braves and the Minnesota Twins. Twins baseball starts now. Jordan Belazovic is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Minnesota. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that uh, is a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field as the Twins take a 1-0 lead. What a way to start this one off. Scoreless top of the frame, and you answer with a bomb in the bottom of the first. Stepping in, Eddie James. He went deep in his first at-bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. The last at bat, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He You're got down. a fastball and didn't miss. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Danger averted. Digging in, Eddie James. He now got on top of one and was a ground out victim last Eddie. time. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Hey, if you pitch, get your pitch on. Now the pitch. Well, look out, hot shot to third, and there are two away. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting for Atlanta. Number one, Ozzy Albu. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. Pinch hitting for the Braves. Number 18, Edmund Caldwell. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. James will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Peter Mooney will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into... Afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Baltimore Orioles and the Minnesota Twins. It's time for Twins baseball next. Jamison Tyon, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, every team needs a Don't pitcher like this one here. His numbers Eddie. aren't going to blow you away. Yeah. Career ERA just under four, but one thing he does, he takes it. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Oh, and it's no. off target, yeah. and he'll be safe at third. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips cool. right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. Back. Runners on the move for second. Pitch outside the throw. In time as he just gets the tag down. I think that steal attempt was all about trying to stay out of the inning ending double play. But now there are two outs, so that makes getting that run home from third a lot more difficult. That's the risk you take. 
Second inning set to go. And digging in next at the plate will be Renato Nunez. The 0 and 1 delivery. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in base. At the plate, Eddie James. He singled his last time Eddie. up. Yeah, and they take another hey. single right here. That third base coach is dying to wait. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. You score. You score. And now, meanwhile, this is going to be extra bases, and that may just get a couple of runners home. And the runner will score from second. And the run will score all the way from first. Make it 5-1. to one. You simply cannot offer up a pitch like this to a hitter of this guy's magnitude, especially with runners on the bags. He makes a living off frozen ropes to the outfield like this, and that one drives in a pair. And that's through into left, a base hit. And that'll play run number six. It's now a six to one ball game. Starters just don't go as deep into games as they used to. Sometimes five innings or so, but a guy that gets roughed up for six runs early in the game is going to have a hard time even sticking around that long. Ready now for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. Now the center fielder, Austin Hayes. This is in the air out to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They trail six to one. Ready once again, Eddie James. He drove in two with a double in his last at bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Belted high and deep into right center. Hayes on the run for it to the track and that one is gone. Solo shot to right center as it's now a six run ball game. Well the skipper called on him for a reason and I can hear. Coming to the plate now, Eddie James. And we'll see if he can get something Eddie. into the gap to make it interesting. Yeah. He's had a great game so far, but needs the triple to complete a cycle. Weak grounder right, down on, the first right baseline. Got on to it. first, and the Twins are turned away here as the side is retired. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting for the Orioles. Number two, Richie Martin. Goes down to get this thing as this is lifted in the air to straightaway left. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first out. Travis Blankenhorn will look for some two out magic. And this ball game ends at a 9 to 4 final score. Minnesota took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. The final one. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Minnesota Twins and the New York Mets. Stay tuned for Mets baseball coming up next. David Peterson, the native of Colorado, gets the start on the mound. 
Dan, any thoughts? Hey, we're going to get a chance to look at a guy that uh, he's a little bit hurt. up and down throughout well, points of his career. A career hey. ERA just hey. over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well... And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on the show. Now in the box, Tommy Pham, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Set to deliver the 0-1. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. James will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. The next twin up, Eddie James. Now batting. The left first field. pitch of the at bat. Eddie James. Popped up. Alonzo is there for it. And that retires the side. So stepping in, now Eddie James. Left Eddie. Here's the first pitch to him. Bullet back up the middle. The Shields will get there and he puts it away to retire. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. Pulls this one in the air out to left. James is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Lamont Wade will look for some two-out magic here. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. A one-run finish the today, 5-4, to four, the final ball. score. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Boston Red Sox and the Minnesota Twins. Twins baseball comes your way next. Fernando Romero, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, it just goes to show you how tough it is to pitch in today's game. This guy has a career ERA over five. At times, he can be good, and at times, he can be really, really bad. It'll be interesting to see which guy shows up in this one here today. Now at the plate, Bobby Dahlbeck. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Bobby belted high in the air out to left a ball that's carrying and he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning so the striding in once again Eddie James 0 for 1 here in the early going first pitch coming here it is line towards center field Hap is going to have room out there as he puts this away Now with the plate, Eddie James, as now the batting. switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Eddie. First pitch of the yeah. at-bat on its way. He pulls this one yeah. high and deep to right center field. It is gone. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. So a three-run shot to right center field, and the Twins have come back to tie it at 3-3.
looking at that pitch again you can see he just flat out missed his location you put that pitch right there and he's going to tattoo it now we're all tied up against your Peter Mooney will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty So the lineup really helped carry them to victory here in this one, and this man was a big reason why. He's our tops player of the game. It wasn't a huge offensive day for him. He only had one hit, but he definitely made it count. Put one out of here that ended up being a really important swing of the bat in this one. A one-run finish one today, 5-4, to four, the ball final ball. score. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the New York Yankees and the Minnesota Twins. Randy Dobnik gets the starting nod for the Twins. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that added a new pitch to his repertoire, the split finger. He won't throw it. Pretty well struck high and deep to left field. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. One, two, three. Stepping up now, Eddie James will swing it from the left side right here. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Hit sharply on the ground. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And the recovery yeah, yeah, throw is right too there. late and there are two on hard. with one away now. So first and second with one man gone. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Max Kepler. He's running. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, dealer in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit. And I'm sure it was. Batting fifth. Coming to the plate now, Alex Kirilov. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Gone! Big dogs gotta eat! That's how the manager drew it up right there. Next for New York, Giancarlo Stanton. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Hit in the air out to left field. James will get there and he puts it away to retire this. Up next for Minnesota, Eddie James as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. First pitch on its way. This is pulled into right. Lentigua is going to have room out there as he puts this away. Stepping into the box, Eddie James. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Eddie James. Line drive. That's a base hit into the right center field gap. He's around first, heading for two. And the Twins have something brewing right away. It's a leadoff double. So a line drive double here has him in business to start the inning. And you can see right there, he currently holds the top spot in that category on this Minnesota ball club. And the runner's breaking for third. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Stanton has him played perfectly as he puts it away for out number one. Out 
Alex Kirilov. We'll stand in, and as he does, we'll flash you back to the first inning of the ball game. A three-run shot had him off and running right out of the gate. Kirilov. Runners on his way to third. Oh, and they've got him picked out. off. And he is out, retreating to second as they... Lamont Wade will be charged with the job of getting that... Six to one, the final tally today. The Twins jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Randy Dobnik gets the W on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Minnesota Twins and Tyler Molly, the California born right hander, is on the mound. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, one of the main issues is he wants to limit the amount of walks. Walked four in his last start, and that's a little bit too many for a starting pitcher. He's going to need much better control if he expects to pitch better in this one. This one is crushed. Back, 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 and gone. Love the homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of re in now Eddie oh, James he hit a two run jack in his first at bat we all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter we saw how far he could hit one he got a fastball that he liked and he turned that thing around and it got out of here in a hurry and he is in at second base with a one out double at the plate Max Kepler up next for Minnesota the right fielder Max Kepler. runner breaks for third right side hit hard and that's through into right field for a base hit he'll come home with it and not in time as the run scores everything done right Dan on both sides the defensive side and the offensive side to send him and the outfielder made a strong accurate throw but that runner was safe no doubt about it that's one of those where you got to be aggressive as a third base coach so the bases are empty now with one man gone. And that brings up the Lourdes. exciting Lourdes Gurriel Jr. A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. One, 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 one. Gone! Wow, nothing more demoralizing. Digging in the switch hitter, Eddie James. He'll try to follow Eddie. up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Digging in and looking for more, Max Kepler. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. And there he goes towards second. There's ball four. So striding in, Alex Kirilov. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. He set the 0-1. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Cole is there to make the catch, and they'll escape the bases loaded. So one run. At the plate, Eddie James. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, break out the tape measure. That one is long gone. Yeah. 
It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. His second home run of the game as it's now a one-run game, 7-6 to six now. Well, that's the sixth home run we've watched leave the yard in this one. Guys, what do you think's behind the hitting we've seen here today? Next up for the Red Sox, Bobby Dahlbeck. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Skied in the air to straightaway left. James is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Coming to the plate now, Hunter Cole. Now batting, the right fielder, Hunter. This is hit pretty well out to left field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Lamont Wade is going to be asked to try and be the rally star. So the lineup really helped carry them to victory here in this one, and this man was a big reason why. He's our tops player of the game. Well, he blasted a couple of balls over the wall in this one, really put the guys on his back, and carried him to the victory. And it's a 10-9 final at the end of this one. Boston launched six home runs as a team in the ballgame. Jordan Montgomery takes home the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show for more.